A court hearing is set for tomorrow morning to determine if a sexually violent predator will be allowed to move into a home in Borrego Springs. Right across the street from that home lives a family with three children, and two of those kids have special needs. It is a mother's worst nightmare to have to describe um, what may be happening on our street, across the street from us. Um, you know, their their innocence is taken away. My daughter's just learning, you know, the birds and the bees, and now we have to have a conversation about sexual sadism with a 12-year-old. It is so disturbing on so many levels, a uh, conversation I never wanted to have. Um, it, it's just awful. Borrego Springs resident Terry Kelmeyer is talking about the proposed placement of convicted sexually violent predator Douglas Badger. The 79-year-old is convicted of multiple counts of kidnapping, sexual assault, and child molestation, and the state has deemed him likely to reoffend. After neighbors in Mount Helix and Rancher Bernardo protested, tomorrow a judge will now decide if Badger will live at a home in Borrego Springs. It's in a neighborhood where 19 children live with their families. Four of those children have special needs. County Supervisor Jim Desmond is asking the public to attend the court hearing via Zoom tomorrow morning to let the judge know that the entire community is against this. What we really need to do is show strength in numbers. And, and I think if we have as many people as possible come in and zoom it, come in on that Zoom uh, uh, meeting or the court hearing tomorrow, uh, and they, they get on, they get on, hopefully they can speak, but even if they don't speak, their presence is very well appreciated and, and will, will be meaningful, uh, hopefully to the judge to um, uh, not place uh, Mr. Badger here in Borrego Springs. Yeah, and if you would like to make your voice heard concerning this issue, we put the link to tomorrow's 9 a.m. Zoom court hearing on our website. Go to CBS8.com and click on the help button. You just feel for the families. You understand that there's a difficult constitutional process with these prisoners who have served their time, where to put them, all that. But these people live in these communities. They have children. They just want to live in peace. Yeah, there was a time where these sexually violent predators would be placed on prison grounds uh, in mobile homes. And uh, again, according to Supervisor Jim Desmond, he's wanting that policy reinstated. Yeah, you look at the map of the general area where the homes are supposed to be. Homes are close around it. It's not as if it's one home out on a distant road. It, it, it's in a neighborhood. It's in a neighborhood with children. <sighs>